Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Easy Tutorials. Today in this video, we will make a website design for electric vehicle that you can see on my computer screen. In the navigation bar, you can see a logo, some links and a button. When I click on this link, you can see the background image is changing. When we click on model S, you can see the information here at the bottom which is top speed, max range and the model name in the right side. If we click on model 3, you will get the information about this model. Like this, we can click on any model and we will get their image in the background and other information at the bottom. We will make this website design using HTML, CSS and very simple JavaScript. So let's start this video. Here I have this folder and in this folder I have added the HTML file, one CSS file and some images and one logo. You can find all these images download link in the video description. Now I will open these files with my code editor which is VS Code. And this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures. And this one is the CSS file where I have added the Google fonts link and the margin padding and box sizing and font family. In the HTML file, I have added this link tag to connect HTML and CSS file. Now we will add code in the body tag. So here we will create a div with the class name header. In this one, we will add one nav tag and here we are adding one image so I am using img tag and this is the logo. Let's add a class name also which is logo. Now we will add some links with the ul and li and in this li we will add one a tag and write the name which is model s. Let's duplicate it and change the name model 3, model x and model y. After that we have to add one link. So let's add one a tag and here we will add one class name btn and write the button text. After adding this, we can open the web page. So let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with web browser. So you can see the logo and some links here. Let me close this browser and we can open the web page with the VS Code extension called Live Server. So let's copy this class name, write it here in the CSS file and here we will add the CSS properties like width and height for the header. Then we will add the background image url and add the images file path so it is in the images folder slash the file name is image one dot png after that we will add the background color this one so there will be a dark layer on the background image after that we have to add the background blend mode multiply and let's add the background position it will be centered and background size cover after that we will add the padding 0 and 7% 7% from left and right side let's open the web page again now you can see the background image and we have some space from the left side next we have to add the css for the nav so just copy this nav write it here here we will add the position so it will be fixed top will be 0 and left 0 next we have to add the width 100% and display will be flex so that all the contents will be side by side align item center now you can see the logo and links side by side just copy this class name logo write it here for this logo we have to set the width so it will be small 320 pixel and after that cursor pointer now you can see perfect size for this logo just come back and in this nav you can see we have ul and li so let's come back write nav ul for this ul we have to add flex 1 and text align center so it will use the entire space available in the row. Now let's add nav ul li display inline block and here we will add some margin 10 pixel from top and bottom 20 from left and right side. You can see it looks like this. Now we have to change the color so just come back and write this again then write a tag. For this a we will add text decoration none and color triple f which is white color. You can see these links in white color. Next we have to design the button. So just copy this class name btn. Here we will add nav.btn. For this button we will add color triple f which is white, text decoration none, border 1 pixel solid and white color. Let's add some padding and border radius 30 pixel and we will add margin from the right side. So there will be some space on the right side. We have added all the contents in the navigation bar. Next we will add information at the bottom. So just come back and after closing of this nav tag, here we will add some space and let's add a div with the class name info. In this one we will add another div and let's add one text in h2 
it is 1.9 s and let's add another text in p tag 60 mph let's duplicate this complete div and change the text this will be for top speed and this is for the max range after that we have to add one more div let's add a class name in this div which is line this div will be empty we will not add anything in this div and let's add another div here and in this one again we will add a text in h2 so the text is the model name which is model s after applying this you can see these text here so we have to change its position and alignment just come back and copy this class name info write it here in the css file and for this one we have to add the width so it will be 100 percent and some padding and after that we have to add display flex align item center then we have to change the color so it will be white colored and position fixed bottom let's add 50 pixel and left zero now you can see it is over here we have to add some space in each div so let's come back and write this class name again dot info then div for this div we will add some margin now you can see some space let's come back and we have to change the font size so write this class name again then write div and h2 for this h2 we will increase the font size so let me add the font size of 44 pixel and font weight will be 400 now it is looking good next we have to add a line so here you can see we have added a class name line write it here dot info dot line and for this line we will add the flex one and background it will be triple f which is white then we will add height let's add four pixel now you can see one line over here so we have added the content in the bottom also next we have to add the click feature on these links so that it will change the background image and other information at the bottom so let's come back and we have to change the image in this header so let's add one id here it is header and we will add the click event on these links so in this link we will add one id so let me add the first id model s now we will add the id for the second one model 3 now the third one model x and in the last one model y after adding this just come at the bottom just before this closing of body tag here we will add a script open and closing tag and let's add fair then header equal to document dot get element by id and write the id which is header just duplicate this line and uh, we will change the text it is ms for model s then it is m3 for model 3 after that mx for the model x let me write one more line it is model y my now here we will add ms dot on click because we have to add the click feature equal to function and this function will be executed whenever we will click on this first link so here we will add header dot style dot background image because we have to change the background image equal to url and in this url we have to add the images file path so let me come back to the css file you can see here we have added the image file path like this just copy this one and paste it here so this is the first image when we click on the first link let's duplicate this complete function and change the name m3 mx and my change the image image 2 3 4 after applying this let's come back to the website again and if we click on the another model you can see the image is changing but right now images are changing very fast so let's come back to the header and here we will add transition background image one second so there will be a smooth transition while changing the image after that you can see if i click here it is changing very smoothly 
so this background image is changing when we click on the model name next we have to update the model name at the bottom when we will click on model 3 it should display model 3 here when we click on model y it should display the model y here so let's come back to the html file and uh, we have to change this text this h2 so here in this h2 we will add one id model and after that duplicate this line here we will add model document dot get element by id model and now in the first one we will add model dot inner html equal to model name which is model s just copy this line and add it in the other function and change the model name model x sorry it will be model 3 this is model x and this is model y after applying this let's refresh the website again and if we click on the model 3 you can see the model 3 written here at the bottom if we click on model x it is model x when we click on model y you can see model y at the bottom and the background image is also changing like this you can change these information also when we click on another link just you have to add one id in these h2 after that you have to create variable here and then you have to update the text using inner html like this one like this you can create attractive web design using html css and javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one Thank you so much for watching this video.